What's up YouTube, how are you doing today? Chana D or Techno Dad here and in today's video we're gonna be checking out how to properly set up your nine channel AV receiver. Now I'll be using the Denon X4400H for this demonstration. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same thing for nine channel and 11 channel receivers from both Denon and Marantz, okay? So you guys know I upgraded my setup from 5.1.2 to 5.1.4 and after Messing around with some layouts in the ampersign area, I found out that there are a couple of layouts that you don't want to use. For this video, we're mainly talking about Atmos and Oro 3D. DTSX will work with pretty much any layout that you got going on. And when I say by working, I mean, I noticed that when I played Dolby Atmos with a certain layout, my rear height channels were not playing. And there's another layout that won't even support Oro 3D. So if you really wanna check out Oro 3D, you have a Denon AVR, you have a Marantz AVR or Pre-Pro, we definitely need to go and change to one layout, unless you like switching back and forth. So let's get into it, shall we? Here we are at the Denon menu, go into speakers, we go to manual setup, and then we go to amp assign. All right, so here we are at Ampersign. I have it set up for 5.1.2, and we need to change that height speaker from two channel to four channel. And let's keep it at top front and top rear. Now, here's something we definitely need to do. We need to go back to speaker config, because you notice, look at this, top rear says none. So you gotta turn on in the amp section and then come back over here to the speaker config section and set that to small so you can change crossovers. Now we go back to amp assign and if you go if you look down to support format it only says Dolby Atmos and DTSX so there's no Oro 3D support with this layout. All right, so let's go to the layout I had. Since I have kind of like this layout, I always tell you guys to mimic the layout in your room. So this is kind of like what I had, front height and surround height. Now, if you see at the bottom, it says support format, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D. Now, this works great for Oro 3D. This also works for DTSX, but guess what? This does not work with Dolby Atmos, meaning you will not have any sound coming out of your rear height channels. It demotes you to 5.1.2. So let me say that again. If you have your layout as front height and surround height, this will only work for DTSX and Oro 3D. Dolby Atmos will not be supported and it will bump you back down to 5.1.2. So I kind of found that out the hard way, just kind of happened to me, that's how I had it set up and I just noticed, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get this up and running and I was playing some demos from the Dolby Atmos demo disc and I noticed that, hey, wait a second, shouldn't this stuff be flying around my head? And it wasn't. I was getting everything that I was supposed to get from the front two high channels, but I wasn't getting that super immersive experience as you would expect to have, you know, um, that second set of high channels. So instead of boring you guys with my whole story and whole spiel that I was planning to say, I just want to let you know there is one layout setting that will work for all three sound formats. And not just work for all three sound formats, it'll actually support four height channels and sound coming out of all four high channels. Because even though some of the other configurations the support format does have Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D. It will only have Oro 3D from your front two high channels and not all your four height channels. So what is the setting we need to set it on? We need to set it on front height and rear height. Now when you set it on this, even if you have ceiling speakers, even if you have surround height channels like I do, no matter what setup you have, if you want support for all three formats, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D, you need to set your layout to front height and rear height. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's the magic one. So this is the one you wanna have, otherwise you'll be coming back to here and changing you know, per whatever format your content is in. And that's kinda of like a pain in the butt. So this is what you guys need, all right? All right, so now let's talk about turning on Oro 3D because you actually have to turn it on. It's not like auto uh, detected from the system, okay? So what you need to do is you need to grab your, your Denon remote and there's a little green button here where my thumb's at. When you press it, it gets you to the sound menu. As you can see, Oro 3D is down the list. 
Just keep pressing the green button until you get to Oro 3D. All right, so just to show you guys here, if you have it set up correctly, look at what we got. We've got signal, that's the incoming signal, Oro 3D. We have the sound, that's Oro 3D. And look on the right, active speakers. All our high channels are being used. All right, so let's now change it to front height and surround height, like I told you before, and let's jump into John Wick. What do we see? We see that Dolby Atmos is coming in. We see that Dolby Atmos is going out. However, we are now bumped down to a 5.1.2 setup. As you can see, the rear height channels are not active. They're not in blue. So let's go back, change the layout to front height and rear height channels, then go back into John Wick, press play, and then hit the info button. And here we have for active speakers, we have all nine speakers working. Let's jump back to the Oro 3D demo disc and hit info and there we have Oro 3D and we have all nine channels active. And that's on front height and rear height. All right guys, so what's the bottom line? The bottom line is if you're running a nine channel AV receiver and you wanna have Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Oro 3D all running at the same time without having to go back and change settings, go to Ampersign and in your height channel layout, Make sure you have it set to front height and rear height and you'll be good to go. Yes, this is only for Denon and Marantz AV receivers and pre-pros. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you found it informative. If you guys have any questions, definitely hit me up down in the comments below or on whatever social media you like to use the most. Go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dan. I'll see you next time.